Hey everyone, our family loves the Custodio app for monitoring our kids' devices. It's just a couple easy steps to get it up and running. Let's get started. Hey everyone, in our last video we gave a brief overview of Custodio. We listed key features and some of the reasons that we chose this for our family. In this video we'll be going over the installation process on both the parent and child devices. If you're following along at home, be aware of the following. First, we are using Android devices for setup. We see that Custodio features are best represented on Android devices, and this is the only way if you want to monitor SMS or text messaging on your kid's device. And secondly, the apps are already downloaded and installed on each device. Now that we're in the app, we have two options. The first option, I'm new to Custodio, this will allow you to get started in the app. Then if you already have an account, you can select the second option, I have a parent account. This is what we're going to do to proceed from here. We accept the terms and conditions. And then on the next screen, you enter your email and password. I'll do that now and meet you on the next screen. On this page, we select whether this is a kid's device or a parent's device. I will select the parent's option now. This screen reminds us to install it on the child's app. I'm going to select I understand. This section goes over several of the different features on Custodio. We'll go more in depth in the next video on how these work and how they display on the kids and parents phone. For now, we'll hit the skip option and then close tour. This screen shows what the current plan is and will vary depending on your subscription. Currently have two kids added to the account. To add a child, hit the plus button at the bottom. You'll then give the child's first name. You can select an avatar for the child and give the birth year. then hit next. Currently it shows us that Billy does not have a device protected. We'll select what type of device and tells us it will then tell us how to download the app for that device. Now we'll switch over to the kids device. We'll do the first couple steps and pick back up on select kids device. Now we're back and going to select kids device. We can now give this a device name. I'm going to put Billy's phone. And hit next. Now it asks who uses this device. I'm going to select Billy. For the app to work properly, it needs several services and or permissions turned on or allowed. We'll step through those now. It says, great, this device is now protected. That's all that's needed to get this device up and running with basic features. In the next video, we'll show how the app is displayed on the parents and the kids' phones and how to modify the settings to best fit your needs. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And remember, you are the first line of defense in keeping our kids safe in technology.